Hi there. Um, okay, so it's been a while since I did a video, and um, sorry about that. It's been warm, you know, the UK has been unseasonably warm. Anyway, uh, the last time that I spoke to you guys, I drew this, um, and I had explained that the purpose of this level um, in Eight Dragons uh, was as a boss room for the whole sequence of levels that goes through the office building. Um, so you start out here and you come through here and into here via a lift that I haven't drawn yet. Anyway, whilst drawing this, I remember suggesting that I ought to, at some point, animate this young lady here who is the receptionist in this room. Okay, so unfortunately, this is a static flat image and animating this well, would be sprite, um, would become quite difficult. And the reason why it's a flat image is that I had intent, well, I, I had drawn the whole thing. As you can see here, it's much grayer, much less colorful. I had drawn it all in my usual many, many, many layers style. But then what I've done, you see, is to give it some character, some life, I had adjusted the colors somewhat. And we ended up with, with this. And this is what you've seen, and this is what's going to be in the game, or is in fact already in the game as a level. The problem there is that I now can't easily animate this. Um, so some prep work that I did before coming live with you today, um, I took this version of the level, this coloured version of the level, and I attempted to break it into two parts. So we've got this part here, and this part here, where there. Okay, which means that the lady in the middle layer can now, if I so choose, move around and generally that works. Okay, so just a word to the wise, if you're going to be adjusting the colours of the final output of um, a whole layered image, it's probably a good idea to divide it up into separate parts and adjust the colours of the parts that you need and then stitch it back together so that you can actually do some animation without having that problem. Anyway, here we are now, and we do in fact have a layered, a layered uh, thing here. We've only got the three layers, if I ignore this background one, which is just the whole image. Um, and the bottom layer is the background, the top layer is this stuff, and the middle layer is this lady here who's our receptionist. So the general plan today is to take this lady here and let's get her doing some reception-y style things uh, just to liven up the background of this level uh, during gameplay. Now, I figure she's probably going to be typing on this keyboard. I'm going to need to have um, a front-facing frame for this woman so that she's facing us rather than facing to the side. Uh, we already have a side-facing one. We can flip that and have it facing the other side. We have to do some animation with her hands around the keyboard. We might even at that point want to have her walk out perhaps and then come back in again. Um, just, you know, to add some interest to this, this background. Where to start? Well, I hadn't really considered much about how I was going to do this. Um, I suppose I probably ought to start by adding some frames and then seeing what happens. Uh, as I've explained in previous videos, I only have a broad idea of what it is that I'm going to do. Um, and then I kind of just go about doing it and see how it comes out. People tend to plan a lot better than I do. I've seen on uh, other videos where people explain their process. I'm not much for that kind of planning. So let's get some new frames. So new frame, new frame, new frame. I don't know how many of you are familiar with A Sprite, but th this A Sprite is a fantastic tool. Um, it owes some heritage to things like Deluxe Paint, which was a fantastic tool also, but it's no longer available or even doesn't run on Windows, so um, we're stuck with A-Sprite. Anyway, how many frames have we got here? Six. I think we're going to have a much bigger frame sequence than that. Um, we're just going to keep adding frames, I think. Uh, I can always remove some if I've got too many. But it's going to be a kind of fluid animation, not necessarily a bunch of cycling stuff like you'd have. Uh, for a walk cycle for um, one of the characters in the game. This is just sort of general background animation for this level. So we'll start with the lady where she is. Um, 
In fact, we'll probably want to start with her hands up on the keyboard. Now, uh, what this means is I'm going to have to have a layer that's above this layer. Otherwise, her hands will not appear above the keyboard. So let's get a new layer. There it is. It's layer four. Uh, I'm going to call that foreground. I'm just going to rename the level so that I don't get lost in a minute. This one's going to be desk. Uh, ah, there we go. I've forgotten how to make that dialog pop up. This one is woman. And this one is background. Groovy. Okay, so in the foreground then, I can probably, because the desk is in the way, I can probably not bother adjusting what our hands look like under the desk. I can just start drawing what our hands look like above the desk while she's stood here. Um, right then, so let's start. We can start by, in fact, we'll have to bring her elbow out a bit and then her arm this way. And as you can see, we don't have many pixels to work with, so we kind of just have to make an impression of, of what it is that we're expecting to see. Um, I've often considered pixel art to be a form of expressionism, you know, if we were thinking traditional art terms. Um, because, well, it is really, not expressionism, sorry, impressionism, because you are really just capturing an impression of the thing that you're trying to, to see. That's, that hand is too far on that keyboard. But I guess, do you know what? I don't think anyone's going to really care. Um, Although, if I, I don't want to, but I'm thinking if I move the keyboard, that, that, that arm looks poised to move a mouse. Now, if I move that keyboard across some so that it's in front of that monitor, then I could put a mouse there and she can just move the mouse one pixel, two pixels um, side to side for a few frames, and then she can be poised to type. I don't know. Is it worth giving it a go? Yeah, it probably is. Okay, all right, let's get back to this desk layer. Like I said, things don't always go the way that I expect them to. Now, this desk layer, if I grab, say, this and move it this way, that keyboard is now just in front of that monitor. What I'm going to need then is an amount of desk to sit back where that was. Uh, that hand is still in the way. Let's move the whole woman this way a bit and I'll have to move her arm to go with it. Oop. Wrong there. Foreground. Here we go. Okay, and then I can put another, another wire in. Perhaps a bit of What's that? It needs to go back to that desk layer. That needs to. There we go. All right, so we've got a definite keyboard there. And if I grab some. Hmm, that there. There we go. Now we have a mouse. Perhaps it should be the darker, actually. And just a bit of that. There she has a mouse, and we can add an extra wire. My layer of wire desk, yeah, okay, that's still good. All right, an extra wire that just, just comes in here. Just like that. Uh -huh. Okay, and then what I can do is wave that hand with that mouse backwards and forwards a couple of times. Um, and she can turn her head a few times. So I'm going to have to do a, a forward facing frame so she can look at this monitor. Um, also, that foreground is coming over that monitor. We don't want that. So let's erase that. There we go. So I figure move the mouse a few times, turn head a few times. Um, 
Hmm. I'm not really in the right place to use that keyboard now, though. Let's see. Let's move her just a bit. In fact, that can stay like that. Let's adjust this mouse layer. It's never quite as smooth as you might hope. Okay, so her arm is now poised to use that mouse. We'll just shove it up and down a few bits. Move her head around. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's move on to the next layer where we're going to have to copy all those things because I was quite dumb and didn't. You know what, let's just remove all those layers, copy that layer. Um, not layer, sorry, frame. Right. So yeah, anyone who's watching this that didn't uh, watch any of the videos that contributed to, uh, where's it gone now, that, then I would recommend going watching them and then you'll have some clue as to what it is that I'm attempting to achieve. Also go and look at the trailers for the game and then you'll get a clue of how it all fits together, um, what it is that's uh, what it is that's really going on, what it is I'm trying to make, and how it all fits together. So, okay, uh, well, there's a pixel there that didn't ought to be there. Mm, yeah, it didn't ought to be there. Right, okay, so let's make a new frame. I was probably overzealous in making all those other frames. Um, and in this new frame, let's move the hand and mouse down. So with the desk, I can do is I can grab this, move it down like this with the foreground layer, grab this, move it down, fill in the bits in between. And now she's moving that mouse. Let's uh, let's 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 get to here. Let's make that a bit more obvious. Okay. So she's moving that mouse and we don't need a lot of animation really. So we can probably do a few frames of that kind of repetition where all she's doing is moving that. And then we can have her head twist and look at the other monitor. And then twist, probably move the mouse again like this a couple of few times. And then look back at this monitor and then we can have her type on the keyboard a bit. No, it can probably cycle like that actually. I don't think the sort of moving out through this door or moving out through this door are necessary. I think a couple of these things going on. Uh, yeah. Now, right, so she goes like that and then like that. That's the same as that one. It could probably be the same as the first one, but it, it doesn't much matter. Um, Right. In fact, let's just make it the same as the first one. Get rid of that. On which layer are we? We're on the desk layer. So I'm just going to cut that out of the desk layer. Control C. Go here. Control V. There we go. And then we'll just get to the foreground layer. Get rid of the. Uh, the just get rid of that. And go back to this layer. Not layer. I keep saying layer. I mean. Frame, of course. Okay, so now. Oh, now, now, what have I done? Ah, oh, I see. Well, that was somewhat silly, wasn't it? What I've done is I've, anim I've animated layer three and not layer two. I keep saying layer. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. I've animated frame two, 3 and not frame 2, which means I have identical frames, and that isn't what I intended to do. Let's delete that frame, and let's make a new frame here, and now we have... Right, okay, and then I'll do what it was that I just did, which is to go to, lay, uh, to frame 1, copy this desk, 
to bring it to frame two, three, sorry. And then we'll cut off the arm in the foreground layer. Go to frame one, foreground layer, get the arm back to frame three, paste it in. Okay, and now we have, right, good. So, let's da, 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 into frame set root section. Well, no. All right, so, new frame, new frame, new frame. Okay, so, two wants to be the same as four. So let's get to two. Four and six. And we'll do the same with the foreground layer. Let's get to two. Let's copy the arm. If we go to four. Well, that's somewhat bizarre, isn't it? Okay, four, delete some of the arm, and paste it, there we go. And do the same to six, delete some arm, and paste it. Okay, I've got something going on there, on uh, frame four there that I didn't intend. Okay, so she's moving that mouse around. It's probably going to move quite slowly, this bit of animation. Now, the animation frame sequence and speed and everything will be laid out in some XML in the game itself. So I needn't worry too much about the speed of the animation because I will be adjusting that later um, in the config so that it, it, it works for the game. So yeah, all right. Let's let's go back to frame four then, and let's have this lady look towards us. All right. So I figure there's not a great deal to do. Again, we don't have many pixels to play with. So if I just move her head this way, move there, grab some of her hair. And sort of fill in the hair, make the neck uh, there, yeah, and probably bring there we go up to the shoulder. We'll delete some of the hair here. Possibly adjust some hair over here. Does she have the same haircut? I would argue she doesn't. I'd also argue that this doesn't move, so we want to get rid of some of this and, and try again. I would argue that that haircut doesn't quite look the same. So she's turned to face us here. So she's looking, and then she can look the other way. And the easy way to do that is just to flip that head. So you see she's turned her head around whilst that mouse is doing its stuff. So will occasionally turn around. We'll make that much slower in game. So yeah, she really doesn't have to be doing much. She just has to not be still because so she'll look. Yeah. Okay. All right then. So we'll then. 
add some more frames. Let's add one more. And then we can start moving her hand off of here onto the keyboard. And let's get some typing done. Now, there's not a lot of movement, a lot of travel here. So getting her fingers to like they're typing is going to be fairly difficult. But we'll see what we can achieve. Okay. So we're going to move this hand. Uh, that arm is a bit overkill. Let's uh, just get rid of some of this. All right. Okay. Yep. 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 a bit more mousy because the hand's no longer on it we want it to look like it might actually be a mouse no, wrong layer ah uh, yeah that'll do that's mousy enough okay and we'll want to get the other arm up which I guess is mostly going to be kind of shady over here. And then onto here, there'll be some white at the top, and then some hand Venus. Right. Now she's got hands on the keyboard. So now typing. So we'll have a new frame, possibly two new frames, because I think one hand up, the other hand up, both hands down, or one hand up. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so frame number eight, I think I'm just going to move this hand up. Frame number nine, I'm just going to move this hand up. I know it's simplistic, but it's not many, not many. Oh, that works. That, oh, that works really well. Look at that. She's definitely doing office stuff. So we can repeat those frames over and over again. Because she's typing away. We might want to have her use the mouse a bit. Type away, type away, mouse, mouse, type away. Uh, do we want her head turning while she's typing? No, she'll turn for the mouse and then typing, 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 typing. I think a good number of cycles of each of these frames configured in XML and I think I've got enough there for this lady to be doing office work while she's in game. Yeah, I think so. Okay, right, well, you guys don't need to see me configuring the XML, so I'm going to leave you there, and the next time you see me, I will be... Oh, he's gone. Hmm. I'm going to be animating a seagull, or gull, common gull, uh, that's going to be hopping around here. I thought I had drawn him in here, but I do not see him on this level. So, goal next time, see you again.